and Melissa here with Your Time Training. I just recently announced that I am four months pregnant. And one thing that came to mind instantly when I, talk, when I thought about adding tips and advice for helping pregnant women is not to bash anybody or to put anybody down. But I know for myself and for a lot of women that they think that the second they're pregnant that they're eating for two or that it's, it's time to just give in to all of your cravings because the baby wants it. When you're pregnant, it is more important now to eat healthy and to stay healthy than it's ever been. Because you're craving something doesn't mean that you always have to give in to it. My first probably month and a half of, of being pregnant, this baby wanted nothing but pasta. I don't really ever eat pasta. Um, I don't think I gave in. Maybe, I think maybe one weekend was like a cheat day for me and I had pasta. But you know, you gotta think of it in terms as if, if you're craving something and it's beneficial for, for your baby growing inside of you, then, then have it, have it in moderation. But for me, I knew that there wasn't anything that the baby needed in pasta. So I had other substitutes of healthy carbs instead. I didn't give in to the, to the, the bad kinds of carbs. The baby doesn't need those carbs and my body doesn't need it either. Now I'm not saying that you can't enjoy the things that you want to enjoy if you're really craving them, but so far for this last four months, I'm treating it the same way that I've always treated it. If I really want something, I don't just eat it every day. I, I wait till Friday night or Saturday and I let myself have those things that I'm craving. Because now more than ever, like I said, I need to take care of myself, I need to stay healthy, I need to take care of this life growing inside of me. So you do too. So if you have that mentality, like you've gotta give in your cravings and the baby's wanting sugar and it's wanting processed foods, your baby doesn't want that, your body doesn't want that. If you're craving, find something that is actually gonna give you the nutritional benefit of what it is that you're craving. If you're craving sugars, have some strawberries, have some blueberries. If you're craving carbs, don't go for the pasta or for donuts or for cakes and cookies. Go for a healthy whole grain, whole wheat, sprouted piece of toast with some almond butter. You can find healthy substitutions for your cravings. I've learned that in the last four months. This is brand new for me. It's been a struggle. I've had some ups and downs with trying to figure out my body and, and my fatigue and not feeling well and how to make fitness a part of this pregnancy. And I found a lot of different ways and I'm really excited to share that with you. So thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out all my other videos for ways to achieve your fitness goals.